in this video we are going to see the book back question answers of chapter 1 laws of motion standard 10th first question define inertia give its classification it is on page yeah. number 2 inertia the inherent property of a body to resist any change in its state of rest or the state of uniform motion unless it is influenced upon by an external unbalanced force is known as inertia types of inertia inertia of rest inertia of motion inertia of direction second question classify the types of force based on their application types of forces like parallel forces unlike parallel forces third question if a 5 newton and a 15 newton forces or acting opposite to one another find the resultant force and the direction of action of the resultant force let p is equal to 5 newton and q is equal to 15 newton so the resultant force r is equal to p minus q because both the forces are acting opposite to one another so r is equal to p minus q that is r is equal to 5 newton minus 15 newton so answer r is equal to minus 10 newton the resultant force r is equal to minus 10 newton the resultant force acting along the direction of q fourth question differentiate mass and weight mass the quantity of matter contained in the body weight the gravitation force exerted on it due to the earth's gravity alone mass is scalar quantity weight vector quantity mass unit kilogram weight unit newton mass constant at all the places weight variable with respect to gravity question number 5 define moment of a couple it is in the page number 5 moment of the couple rotating effect of a couple is known as moment of a couple moment of a couple is equal to force into perpendicular distance between the line of action of forces capital m is equal to f into s sixth question state the principle of moments it is in it is in page number 5 principle of moments when a number of like or unlike parallel forces act on a rigid body and the body is in equilibrium then the algebraic sum of the moments in the clockwise direction is equal to the algebraic sum of the moments in the anti clockwise direction seventh question state newton's second law it is in the page number 6 newton's second law of motion the force acting on a body is directly proportional to the rate of change of linear momentum of the body and the change in momentum takes place in the direction of the force f is equal to m into a force is equal to mass into acceleration eighth question why a spanner with a long handle is preferred to tighten screws in heavy vehicles answer this is because turning effect to tighten the screws depends upon the perpendicular distance of the applied force from the axis of rotation is power arm larger the power arm less is the force required to turn the screws so spanner is provided with a long handle ninth question while catching a cricket ball the fielder lowers his hands backwards why answer when the fielder lowers his hands backwards he increases the value of time of collision and so retardation is decreased hence retarding force becomes lesser than before and the palm of the fielder is not hurt very much Tenth question: How does an astronaut float in a space shuttle? Answer: Astronauts are not floating, but falling freely around the Earth due to their huge orbital velocity. Since space shuttle and astronauts have equal acceleration, they are under free fall condition. Hence, both the astronauts and the space station are in the state of weightlessness.